Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is going to be for the movie called Cats. This is a 2019 movie. It is rated PG. It runs two hours. It's directed by Tom Hooper and it stars Taylor Swift, Idris Elba, and Judy Dench, among others. If you don't know what it's about, here is the description. Oscar-winning director Tom Hooper transforms Andrew Lloyd Webber's record-shattering stage musical into a breakthrough cinematic event. Cats stars all these people and introduces royal ballet principal dancer Francesca Hayward in her feature film debut. Featuring Lloyd Webber's iconic music and a world-class cast of dancers under the guidance of Tony-winning choreographer Andy... Blankenbuehler, the film reimagines the musical for a new generation with spectacular production design, state-of-the-art technology, and dance styles ranging from classical ballet to contemporary, hip-hop to jazz, street dance to tap. And it keeps going on and on talking about it, but that's pretty much what you need to know. Uh, it really does give a lot of people a chance to shine. Uh, the choreography is amazing. The set design is amazing. Uh, you know, I'll try and explain a little bit more about it, but I didn't want to read the next paragraph that it has there. But yeah, so this is for the movie Cats. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start off by saying this. Okay. I've watched two reviews of Cats on YouTube so far. Usually I don't watch other people's opinions before I state mine and then I get my video done and then I go watch all that there is to watch for opinions. See what see if uh, other people agree with me or not. So I kind of made a mistake by watching two already for Cats because I saw it yesterday on Christmas Eve. This is my Christmas movie this year in theater and I liked it but I can tell why other people are not going to like it. So I kind of wanted to see for myself right away why people aren't liking it and I kind of understand but I've got to explain something first off the bat here this is my review this is my professional opinion okay that people who have never seen the stage production people who have never seen many musicals on stage anywhere in their whole life you're not gonna understand this movie you're just not going to you're not going to understand that they got this world-class dancer in her film debut. You're not going to understand that they turned this from Andrew Lloyd Webber, and it's one of the best musicals of all time, on stage. You're not going to understand what they were trying to achieve by making this a movie, even though they put some different people and different uh, you know, uh, characters. You're not going to understand what's going on. And I really... I'm not going to probably watch too many more, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not probably going to watch too many more videos because I just don't want to hear people rip on this movie when they don't understand the culture and the idea of why this is a movie. Because everybody's just going to sit through this, say Rebel Wilson was awful and there's no plot and they're going to give it the worst grade they can imagine. And that's exactly what the two people I've watched have done. And they have, and they admit in their videos that they've never seen the video, the musical on stage, and they've really never watched anything about Cats or knew what Cats was about. And if you go into that, if you go into this movie like that, then I don't want to hear your opinion about what it is after you watch this movie, because I just don't think you're going to get it. Okay, this is coming from a professional singer. This is coming from somebody who grew up in musicals in high school and has done a lot of stage work on some of the bigger stages in my area. I'm going to tell you this right now, okay? What they were trying to do with this movie is bring it from on stage to on screen. Literally. That's why the mice were little kids in mice outfits. That's why all the people had the roaches costumes on 
and dancing and like that. And that's why some of the cat's outfits weren't as genuine, graphically perfect as you wanted them to be. And that's why a lot of them were like floating around looking like they were on strings and it looked completely fake because that's what they were trying to achieve was to make it like a stage production on screen. Okay, that's is your mind blown yet? Okay, not yet. Okay, the other thing is that I understand that this was musical number after musical number after musical number. And a lot of people don't understand that or get that. But there are lots of movies that have talking and then musical number. And they're some of the greatest movies in the world. Phantom of the Opera. Moulin Rouge. Mamma Mia. Just off the top of my head. Music Man. You know what I mean? Just, uh, there are tons of musicals out there. And if you're not into the scene, you won't understand the strategy of having song after song after song. And you're just going to think that's a, that this movie is really stupid and boring because you don't understand that songs tell stories. And if you're not listening to the lyrics all the time and you just think that this is boring, then you're not going to get the entire story. Okay, that brings me to my next point. Is that this movie does have a plot. I'm tired of hearing that already from the two people I've watched reviews from. That this movie does have a plot. It has one plot, which might be a little of a letdown because it's not an action thriller. It's not a murder mystery. It's not a romance. It just has one point of which cat is being chosen to have their life improved. That's it. It's very simple, but it's a competition. You are going to sit here and tell me that you've never seen a movie that has a competition in it. I think there have been movies with competitions in it. So that's my next point. The next thing is that the competition I've heard was a little of a stupid idea. Like it's they get to go off into this magical land or something and people didn't like that. All that is is that... They talk about it with this cat that's kind of on the outside of the group, okay? They mention it in the movie along the way. So if you missed it, here it is. This one cat that's on the outside of the group, and she gets to sing memories. That cat talks about how she used to be on the windmill. What the windmill is, is in cat universe, is like the human Las Vegas, it's where you perform, it's where you get to share your talent, and it's the biggest stage possible to be able to share that talent. So then we're back in Cat Universe. All this movie is, is trying to see who gets to go perform at the windmill. That's it. However they achieve that goal for you to make it more visual, that's all, okay? So... Let's go to the actual movie part. Now that I've kind of explained things and I'm telling you what I want to hear from people, if you're going to review this movie, let's go to the movie. Yes, I understand that Rebel Wilson is a crazy person. I understand that she ruins a lot of movies she's in. A lot of movies that she's been in have been garbage. I don't understand her comedy. I don't understand her just, you know, freestyling things. I really wish she wasn't in this, but I understand how they made it work with her in here. When she's part of the cast in the big group, she just looks like another cat. She just looks like another person. Why they gave her such a big role, I don't know. But they did it first, and they, and they got it out of the way. So if you ever watch this again, you can kind of skip past her part. I think James Corden is a great guy. He obviously has lots of energy, lots of you know flamboyance, and I think he added a lot to this movie. So I think he was good. I think all the people that are musicians, uh, Taylor Swift and um, the other guy that, um, I forget his name at the moment, but he plays the kind of darker skinned cat. And then the guy who plays the villain in this. And he's trying to kind of cheat to win the competition. 
I think those three were like outstanding. And I think our new girl that made her debut, I think she was really amazing too because she's kind of playing this younger, fresh to the group one. I really thought she was going to win the competition for a while. So um, I just think that this is a well put together movie. I can understand why people are critical of it, but I think that the critical ones are the people who don't understand it. And I think that if you watch this movie, knowing that it's just a musical and it's just songs and you can just enjoy it and you can enjoy the songs that you know, like memories, then you can look forward to those points and you can enjoy the rest of it. And it does have a story and it does have characters bouncing off of each other. And it does have a little bit of a romance and it does have some great animosity between the crowd and Judy Dench because she's amazing. And... You know, the older ones, the older cats in this movie, it feels like they're the elder cats. And, I mean, everybody else plays off of that very well. They show their respect. That's what cats, you know, are all about is respecting each other. And they understand that as animals. Um, these are cl high-class people doing this movie. And they didn't get put in it for no reason. Uh, I think the music was pulled off very well. I enjoyed listening to it. I enjoyed some of the, you know, facial expressions and some of the crazy cat movements, you know, like this. And just, I mean, just stuff was amazing. I really enjoyed it. I think it was a little slow, uh, especially after um, James Corden's big scene. But I think the rest of it moved along fine, and you didn't know what was going to happen at the end. It was a little bit of a surprise, so... I think it was enjoyable enough, and it was interesting enough, and it doesn't deserve the criticism it's getting. So I'm going to give Cats a B. I do suggest watching it. I do suggest watching it in a mood that you understand what it is. And so that's why I've tried, that's what I've tried to achieve with this review. I hope you take it to heart, and I hope you give Cats a chance. A B for cats. Thanks a lot, guys. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them to watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Merry Christmas and enjoy your movies.